Hi you guys, it's Lindsay here. Um, a, a couple of weeks ago, I got an email I'm on the McCall's um, email subscription and every once in a while they'll do like a partner email. Actually, it's not every once in a while, they kind of do them a lot. Um, and I got one from Vogue Fabrics and saw in the email that they do these seasonal swatch books and I don't know, I was just really intrigued by that. Um, I love doing our Style Maker Fabrics swatch videos, and so I thought, well, this could be kind of cool too. And the best part of it was that it was only $5, including shipping. So I was just really intrigued, and I was like, you know what, I want to see what this is all about. And I figured you guys would want to see what it's all about too. So today I'm filming um, like what I got. I haven't opened this yet. It comes in a envelope, just like a plain white envelope and it feels substantial on the inside. So let's see what it's all about. So inside is like a catalog like this. It's just made from like regular kind of semi-gloss paper. It's not like hard card stock. Um, and oh, that's interesting. Okay, so you get the catalog, which is like this, which is kind of just like magazine quality paper. Um, and then you get <laughs> the samples separately and they're about, gosh, I want to say two inches by three inches or maybe four. Um, and there are a lot of them. It looks like there's 55 samples in here, but you have to, when you get your catalog, it looks like you have to open it up and then you have to match the sample to, to the actual swatch. You have to match the page to the actual swatch. So for example, I mean, it's still cool. It's still cool. I'm going to say that it's, that it's still cool. It's just a little bit of work. I guess they didn't want to put all the samples together and they're taped together quite well. In fact, I don't even know. Yeah, I'm going to have to get some scissors to get this open, I think. All right, hold on. Okay, so cut this baby open. So this is samples VF165 number 1 through 13. So it's labeled. Whoop, it's labeled like this. You get a little card and it has all the sample names and then the sample numbers. So that's supposed to help you put all this together. So I have a Zingaber Navy, which would be number one. And this corresponds with the Zingaber Navy right here. So you can see they talk about the fabric and then you get your fabric. Can I just say how soft this is? Oh my gosh, I don't know what Zingaber Navy means. Oh, maybe they tell me. Um, Zingaber Navy, sumptuous double-faced Vermont suede cloth, you guys. That feels so good. That would make the perfect little um, Cascade cardigan. That's what I had in my mind. And then they show you like an ideal little outfit that you can make from the fabric. So that's kind of cool and well thought out. I like that a lot. So they're suggesting the, what pattern is this? They only have tank top and shell. So I guess textile studios pattern number one, two, zero, three is a tank top and also an outer little cardigan. And so they're recommending this for that. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, sorry. See, I'm telling you, this is my first time looking at this. Okay, so it's the Sewing Workshop Valencia Jacket and Pant. Um, and so they're recommending the navy for the pant, not for the jacket. But they are recommending the same type of fabric in a claret color, which looks like, well, it's my favorite color, which looks like this. They're recommending that for the jacket. And then for the top, there is an exquisite rayon chalet print, which is this really pretty floral that coordinates with these two. So this is actually pretty cool. I like how they give you the outfit 
they give you a description of the fabric and how much it costs. They even give you an accessory, like an earring that you can go and buy, I guess, from like, a, you know, someone that they partnered with for the catalog. And then you get a bigger photo swatch of the print. So you can see this print is sort of small. The actual swatch is a small cut of the print too, but you can see much bigger version of it down here. So that's actually pretty, pretty neat. I'm, I'm liking this so far. Um, and then it tells you all about the Zingaber collection on the next page um, because I don't want these to get confused. So I wonder if people staple them into their catalog. That's probably what I would do, like double stick tape or something to get them to stay in there. I don't know. Okay. So, but on the next page, it's recommending this dynamic round chalet print, which is really pretty pink and black and this like really bright yellow color. And then this, Zingaber Mauve Italian Rayon Jersey Knit for a top. So they're recommending a top and a skirt. Um, this isn't very soft, but it is, it's okay. It's 100% um, rayon. So it's a, a rayon jersey knit. Again, not super soft, but I can see how it would make a really great like drapey sweater top. But, um, but so yeah, I think that this would be particularly helpful for anyone who's a beginner and they and I remember when I first started I just didn't understand the relationship between fabrics um, their drape their weight and all of that and how it would relate to a pattern I made so many garments that would have been great but I just used the wrong fabric so I think this is really helpful to kind of steer you in the right direction with the particular kind of fabrics that you're getting um, they do tell you a lot about the collection. Um, Zingaber, apparently, the Zingaber collection. Ginger is a rhizome or root packed with hot flavor. For thousands of years, Chinese medicines have used ginger to aid in digestion and circulation as well as an expectorant for clearing chest congestion. There's a lot about ginger. A lot about ginger. So our... I don't know what that has to do with ginger. I'm really confused. Let me read the whole thing. Our spectacular fall 2016 catalog begins with four selections from Telio and C C I E C Zingaber Navy and Zingaber Claret are incredibly soft double face suede cloths with cross grain stretch and great recovery. Again, I'm not understanding how this is relating to ginger at all, but there's a lot of history about ginger if you're interested in that. I must be missing something. Is there like a winds blow cold and we reach for two things, warming spices and layers of clothes. So grab some ginger tea or warmed mulled wine and flip through our tasty textile temptations. So it looks like they're trying to correlate fall, um, herbs and spices with clothing and Zingaber, maybe the scientific name of Zingaber is ginger. You guys let me know in the comments if I'm even close to understanding what is going on here. But again, a lot of information about ginger and then it goes in to talk about the Zingaber collection. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing Zingaber correctly to be honest. But it talks a lot more about the fabrics. Um, it talks about the soft hand and drape of the two rayons. Um, these large prints beg to be a simple tunic, skirt, or flowing dress where their designs would be best showcased. And then the lovely rayon Italian neck coordinates perfectly with lighter shades. If you prefer to wear solids, make a cowl neck top from this jersey to wear under a jacket of the suede. Okay, so yeah, it gives you a little bit more inspiration than just what's on the page here. So again, I don't want to mess up the order of my fabrics here. Let me get these reorganized four and five. So yeah, I, I gotta say, I don't love how this, the fabrics aren't already in the book, but I kind of understand why they did it that way. And for $5, including shipping, okay, fine. I'll do the work to get the samples onto the book. 
I think that the book itself the is really well done. I was I'm really surprised to see the drawings with the samples of the outfits you can put together with the particular patterns. I feel like a lot of thought has gone on to gone into this whole thing a lot more than I was expecting. Um, you know, when we do our um, style maker fabrics uh, swatch videos, we just get the swatches and we just, you know, you've seen our videos, like we just talk about the swatches and kind of come up with our own ideas on our own. But this um, gives you a lot of different options and it looks to be pattern makers that I'm not 100% familiar with like the sewing workshop I don't know that I own a pattern from them at all um Lowe's now I'm not I'm not gonna butcher this name Lowe's Hensey L-O-E-S-H-I-N-S-E -E. I've never even heard of them I they have a Bianca blouse that's really cute never heard of it um they talk a lot about so this next page talks about the Cassia collection and again, cassia, they go into the kind of the history of that spice. So yeah, it looks like they've named each collection after a spice and then they'll tell you a little bit about that. I mean, I would totally read through this whole thing, learn a lot about spices and get inspired by a lot of the fabrics here. This is really cool. Um, the next one is sort of like sweater. It's like menswear inspired I guess so that's really cool um what is this the everyday the Dana Marie everyday hoodie so they have sort of almost it kind of looks like an advertisement for these two patterns um you know it tells you a lot more about the pattern itself like on the on the fabric swatch pages it just gives you the name of the pattern um, and like, uh, who designed it. But on this page, it kind of goes a lot into recommended fabrics, recommended notions. It's sort of like the packaging of the fabric itself. So you can, or of the pattern itself. So you can learn, um, all that you need for that. And then, yeah, it goes into, um, yeah, all the different fabrics. This is really inspiring it really is i feel like once i start to feel the fabrics and compare them to the suggestions that they're making um it would be even more so and i probably will end up picking up a fabric that i wouldn't normally have chosen simply because i can visualize it in a way that maybe wouldn't have come to me on my own do you know what i'm saying i mean the little jewelry section is so cute too i think that that's really adorable um so oh and look you can go old school and fill out a paper fabric order form how cool is that that reminds me of like i don't know mag magazines in the 80s or like remember those cd subscriptions you could get and you have to write out your you know 20 free cds that you were gonna get Gosh, I must have done that a thousand times. I lost so much money. I got ripped off every single time. Anyways, it's, it, it's also, um, okay, so here, this is answering some of the concerns that I had. How to use your catalog. Most of our clients enjoy putting their swatches in the catalog while sipping a yummy beverage, relaxing at home. We recommend using double-sided tape, although a glue stick, regular tape, or stapler can be used as well. The swatches in your bag follow the order in the catalog with the exception of number 70 and higher. Those fabrics were not swatched for our general mailing, but samples are available upon request and free to our subscribers. Sometimes a print is too large to swatch well or fabric is in limited supply. Whatever the reason, we felt it's better to include it and we felt it was better to include it and offer swatches to those of you who are interested. I don't think they mean include the swatch, they mean include the information in the catalog. Alternative catalog view. We know that many of you enjoy keeping your swatches in a binder or you may have clients who wish to view the swatches. We have an alternative format available that will work well for you. Go to the Vogue, Maver Vogue Fabrics by Mail section of our website and click onto this issue. The link will be there on the landing page for you to download and print a PDF of the format shown below. 
and this new format is really oh my gosh it says if you do not use the internet please contact us and we'll be happy to print it in a black and white format for you at no extra charge that's so cute if you don't use the internet anyways um so the uh, alternative view is really just one page and it has the photo of the fabric and then the information below it it doesn't have a picture of the the um model it doesn't have um anything any information about patterns at all it's just the swatches and their information below all in a row that's all that that is so that's kind of cool if that's how your brain works um i could also see that being a better option for attaching the swatches to paper um because you wouldn't be covering up anything that you couldn't you would be covering up anything in the actual catalog. Um, you would just have to refer back and forth, which is kind of annoying, but, and then they go into some notions. So it is a little bit salesy. Um, I totally want to fill out this paper form and mail it in just like to throw back to the time before we did anything online at all. I just think it's so cool anyways. Um, and then, yeah, it goes into like some pretty magenta colors. Um, Oh, there's a um, kind of like a boucle looking. Oh, has some information about French Terry. So you can learn about that fabric a little bit. Yeah, this is really cool. For $5, I really like this. Um, I remember it coming pretty quickly. I, the timing is all off because a lot of this stuff came whenever I was in Canada. So I don't know exactly what day it came, but I remember it not taking forever. So yeah. I think it's really cool. That's my final word on this. Um, if you want to pick up your own Vogue Fabrics um, Fall 2016 catalog, head to their website. I'll include a link below that will take you directly to the page where you can purchase this. Um, and yeah, super cool. Thank you so much for watching. I am off to read all about this. I'm going to read through the whole thing probably <laughs> um, and compare to my swatches and get them all organized. I feel like I have a whole morning filled up now. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already so you never miss an upload. You can follow us on social media at Inside the Hem. Thanks for watching. Bye.